hey guys welcome back to my channel we are going to do the budget review from last week and the budget for this week we still have a lot going on um, we'll be doing some traveling next weekend I had a death in the family so there's some unexpected expenses in there that will be coming up so we're gonna get started we're going to do the budget review from June the 21st through June the 27th. In the expense category, I had 504.73 budgeted for the phone bill, 388.38 budgeted for the car payment, and 127 budgeted for the loan. That came up to a total of $1,020.11, and that is actually what we spent in that category. In the cash envelopes, I budgeted 75 for groceries, 100 for lunch, 70 for gas, 65 for eating out. 40 for personal, 20 for miscellaneous, and 20 for household. That came up to a total of $390. In our actual category, we spent 75 on groceries, 60 on lunch, that's because I put $40 of mine in the savings jar last week, 70 on gas, 65 on eating out, 20 on personal, which left a difference of $20, $12 in miscellaneous, which left a difference of $8, and $15 in household, which left a difference of $5. That came up to a total of $317. The difference in the overshore category was $73. Now for the expenses versus the income. In the actual, I estimated our income to be $1,635.89, minus the expenses of $1,020.11, and minus the cash envelopes of $390. That left a difference of $225.78. In our actual category, our income was $1,635.89 minus the expenses of $1,020.11 and minus the cash envelopes of $317. That left a balance of $298.78. That was a difference in the cash envelopes of $73. Now we will go on to this week, June the 28th through July the 4th. In our budgeted category, I budgeted $200 for Best Buy, $51.66 for our life insurance, and $60.66 for our homeowner's warranty. That left a difference of $312.32. In the cash envelopes, I budgeted $75 for grocery, $100 for lunch, $70 for gas, $65 for eating out, 40 for personal, 20 for miscellaneous, and 20 for household. That came up to $390. For our income versus our expenses, I estimate our income to be $931.67, minus the expenses of $312.32, and minus the cash envelopes of $390. That leaves a balance of $229.35. That will stay in the bank. Now we're gonna move on to the cash envelopes. We will be filling the miscellaneous envelope, the household envelope, and the eating out envelope. The gas money and the grocery money stays in the bank. So we will see what I saved from last week. We've got a 20 that came out of my personal, miscellaneous, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and for the household, we saved five. I saved nothing in eating out. We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82 in 20s, 10, 20, 30, 40 in 10s, and 1, 5. So we're going to start with the household and we're going to put $20 in the household, 10, 20. We're going to put $20 in the miscellaneous, 10, 20. We're gonna put 65 in the eating out. 20, 40, 60, five. And we have 20, 40, 60 for my husband for lunch, 20, 40 for me for lunch, 20 for his personal, and 20 for my personal. This week I will not be putting the $40 in. I had a death in the family, so we will be going out of town. We have to go to Texas and then to Oklahoma. We're going to be spending money that was not in the budget for hotels and extra gas. So I'm going to put my husband's money in my wallet until I'm ready to give it to him. I'm going to put my 60 in my wallet. And 
And I'm also gonna put my cash envelopes in my wallet. Now for my savings. In pennies, I saved two, four, six, seven cents in pennies. 15 cents in nickels, 30 cents in dimes, and $1.50 in quarters. So my total saved and change was $2.02. .02. I saved one twenty, one five, and eight ones. So that's 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So 33 dollars in bills. The total I saved right here is 35 dollars and two cents. But I also had 40 dollars that I put in the in for this week's money in my jars. So I saved a total of 73 dollars and two cents this week. So now we're going to put the pennies in the penny jar, the silver coins in the silver coin jar. We're gonna put the ones in the dollar jar. And we're gonna put the 20 and the five in the five and 10 jar. And I did break that 20 down to tens. I'll probably break that one down as well. So guys, that's all for this week's video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you will be notified next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.